Good morning, Culpeper Baptist Church and anyone else out there that's joining uh, us on this uh, digital media technology. I am here, my name is Suzanne Dorsey, and I am here with Thelma Moss, and we're just gonna take a few minutes in this series that we're doing um, called Getting to Know You. Uh, you'll see some people up here. You may recognize the face, you never knew the name, or you'll hear the name and now you can put it with a face. It's nothing formal, just a, I have coffee, Thelma doesn't drink it. But anyway, we're just gonna take uh, some questions I've come up with and we're just gonna have an exchange right now and we're gonna jump right in. So, Thelma, thank you for coming out, being with uh, me this morning and uh, just gonna shoot straight at you uh, if you're good with that. Okay, I'm ready. So, okay, so look, um, if you had the chance and you do, <laughs> tell, <laughs> Tell everyone something that you want them to know about Thelma Moss. Oh gosh, what is there to tell? Uh oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, you know, we've lived here in Culpeper since 2004. Um, we uh, transplanted from Arkansas to Virginia back in 1999. Never heard um, it in the accent. It's like, oh, that's really good. It's like, uh, you put me with other people though from the South and you hear the accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, but, you know, um, you know, we, uh, my family settled here. It's like I, you know, my three children, my husband. Um, and so, you know, we, you know, my kids grew up here in Culpeper and, you know, we've loved the experience. It's like we settled here because it felt like home when we uh, stumbled upon the, the town. Okay. So, uh, so okay. yeah, so, you know, I. Um, so you're Arkansas, by way of Arkansas. Yes. yes. Okay. I am in Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't even say it. So. So Thelma, of course, some of this that we're doing with this series and several other things that, that the church is putting out as content and just to keep our, our people engaged, um, it's been brought on by COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me something that you would say that you're learning about yourself as we, as not just the church, but as Thelma goes through this whole experience of COVID-19. I think um, one of the things that I've truly learned about myself is like I had an opportunity to work from home occasionally um, and you know I loved every moment of it but being home every day uh, <laughs> you know I don't like it so much it's like where I am very much an in introvert um, you know very quiet you know I sit back I observe you know um, it's like but being home every day uh, in that setting I very much miss the engaging opportunity that I have going into the office mm -hmm. and being with fellow coworkers uh, and being able to just get together and huddle over different um, activities and meetings and you know discussions that we need to have. Um, okay. You know we're doing. You know we have the opportunity. You know use WebEx and um, and Skype. Mm -hmm. It's like, but um, it's not the same. So yeah. tell 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 everyone what do you do. Um, I work for a government contractor uh, uh, right now, supporting um, a contract with the Department of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's, you know, what I, you know, I do program finance uh, in a different way now. Um, that's what I've done, you know, for years and years. Mm -hmm. um, my background uh, is in accounting. Okay. But I ended up working uh, in finance uh, coming here to Virginia. And so that's what I've done, program finance, uh, supporting mm -hmm. government customer um, making sure we're managing the budgets on the contracts that they've entrusted us to support for them. Um, and so uh, working the numbers. Okay, uh, a bean counter. <laughs> yes. and people get upset when I say that too about people that do figures and make them make mm -hmm. sense. So, so look, um, again, not to tie this whole interview into uh, what you think about COVID-19, but this is putting our church in some different positions. Mm -hmm. And I know you, you're involved in leadership here at the church as well. So what do you see um, how do you, how, how are we handling it? What do you, what do, what do we, um, what could we do better? What are we doing well? What do you, what are you thinking? Just some thoughts on that. Um, you know, I am enjoying, you know, everything that the church has been doing um, to help, you know, people get through the, you know, the isolation. Yeah. You know, is really, you know, how I see it. Um, you know, I'm enjoying the, the, you know, I watch everything through YouTube. I'm not a Facebooker. Okay. It's like I, uh, you know, I kind of shy away from the social media and getting out there because I think it gets carried away. Okay. Uh, so, um, <laughs> but I'm enjoying uh, the YouTube um, opportunities to see Bible study, to, um, you know, 
to get to know other people within the church and learn about their experiences and mm-hmm. everything. It's like, but I, um, I, you know, I love, you know, Sunday mornings, being able to get up with my family. Um, yeah. You know, we're a household of nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not okay. just all my children. It's like I, um, I've, you know, I have other people that we've opened our home to um, over the past year or so. Mm-hmm. And so um, large family. So we get up, we have breakfast. Uh, and we watch Sunday morning service. And so it's been a long time since I've been able to, um, you know, get everyone together yes. and worship together. Yes. And so it's been a great opportunity. Um, and I just love the opportunity that has given, you know, my 20 something children um, to be able to get engaged again with the church, even though it's, um, you know, it, over live stream. Yes. Um, yes. You know, it is an opportunity for them to, you know, feel a part of the church and, you know, get involved and, um, have that experience. That's so all. That's I've enjoyed what the church has been able to do during this time mm-hmm. to kind of bridge the gap, mm-hmm. um, and you know, with the situation that we're in. So uh, this, uh, I, this, you, something you said just brought this question up, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask. Um, so, what should we keep doing? What, 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 what are we learning that we should continue to try and do by way of this? I'm, you know, I, I really like the. Um, you know, doing the Bible study. Yes. Um, and, you know, because not everyone can make it in. Because even for myself, um, you know, I don't get to, um, you know, get involved in a lot of things uh, because, you know, my work schedule right. gets to be pretty hectic. Um, so I, I do like the opportunity that I you know I can, you know, when I have a moment, I can sit and I can watch, you know, Pastor Dan and Hans you know, do the Bible study. They're pretty good, aren't they? Yes. They really (laughs) are. (laughs) Yes. And just, you know, the opportunity for other people to learn the church history. Mm -hmm. Um, This, you know, this church is, you know, you know, steeped in history and, you know, and a long history. And Mm -hmm. I just think that it gives them an opportunity um, to be able to learn more about the church and be more engaging Mm -hmm. that way. Um, So I definitely, you know, think that those type of things could continue afterwards. uh, Because I think that the whole process after you know, we're given the green light to, uh, you know, come back together, I still don't believe that we'll be able to come together in the same settings that we had before. Very Um, interesting. And so, uh, talk about that. So, Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think church will look very different um, after um, this pandemic is, um, is, you know, I don't know if it'll ever be behind us. You know, it's something I think that we'll live with. Oh, okay. Um, Continuously, I, I, you know, I believe that we'll get to the point where maybe we'll have a vaccine. It'll be like the flu. You go get your annual shot, <laughs> uh, you know. But mm-hmm. I think that it's something that will be around for for time for some time to come. Okay, hey Thelma, tell everyone where are you involved here at the church? Um, I'm. Uh, <coughs> and I and let me go ahead and mix it in mm-hmm. because I'll, I'll that'll I'll let you f- finish out. Okay. But tell us where you're involved at the church and what opportunities you have in serving and engaging. Um, yeah, I've, I've been given the opportunity by the church uh, to serve on the finance committee. Yes. Um, and so as a part of that, I represent the finance committee on the leadership council. Uh, so it's given me an opportunity to, um, you know, become more engaged and involved and, you know, and not just, you know, come in on Sunday morning and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and participate in service and then leave and, you know, and, and um, not reach back. And, um, but I, you know, I, I really enjoy that opportunity to be able to serve on the committee and represent them on the leadership council. It's given me an opportunity to learn a lot more about the church um, and you know, what it takes to keep this church going. It's like, yeah. because it truly is a lot of work. It's a lot of hands behind the scenes doing things that you know, we you know, just could not even imagine what it takes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, so it's definitely given me an opportunity to become more engaged. And I feel yes. a responsibility uh, to do a good job and, and make sure that I'm representing, um, you know, the, the congregation in the way that um, they would as well. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So that's all that I had this morning. Um, I will take the opportunity just to say that um, I've kind of gotten to know Thelma and a couple of those people at her house. Um, and uh, I just want to say that her daughter, Brianna, mm-hmm. makes fantastic desserts. So if you if you get that sweet tooth while you're out there or while you're watching Pastor Dan and Hans on on a Bible study and you, you just got to get with Velma via the church and try some of the things that Brianna is making right there at home. An incredibly talented young lady. And um, I, I'm glad to have the chance to meet her. So thank you, Thelma, for coming out on this morning and uh, spending some time just uh, letting us get to know you. Yeah. Thank you.